Hey, what is up everyone? Welcome to part two of my monkey knowledge you should have series. And today we'll talk about five more monkey knowledge points that you guys should focus on getting, which will provide benefits across all your games, allowing you to farm more efficiently, be able to leak lives and easily go into the ultra late game. If you guys haven't seen part one of this, you can check that one out in the description and let's go. All right, so the first one is that there can be only one knowledge from the magic tree, which unlocks the vengeful true sun god. This tower, or the VTSG for short, is by far the strongest tower in Bloom's TD6. And if you guys want to go for your highest round, you're grinding for an achievement, or you're just having fun in free play, this tower is something that you must have. It easily goes into round 200 by itself with a little bit of support and is crucial to those highest round record breaking runs. Also, it's a cool easter egg that people have discovered since there is no guide in the game on showing us how to actually get it, but people had to figure it out through experimenting and playing around with the super monkey. Another cool easter egg with the vengeful true sun god is that on Adora's temple getting the VTSG completely transforms the map and if you have a max level Adora in its range, she will get transformed into Vengeful Adora as well and her attack and her abilities will also get changed. Next up is the Mana Shield Monkey Knowledge from the Magic Tree. So the Mana Shield is very useful in the early game, but the later you go, it becomes less and less important. For example, leaking two ceramics on hard mode, even if you have full Mana Shield, full lives and road spikes, means that you're gonna lose. Mana Shield is super effective early on, but loses its effectiveness as the rounds start increasing. The way that Mana Shield works is that it gives you a barrier of 25 lives at the start of the game, and if you leak all of those 25 lives, it will replenish itself by 5 per round. Now keep in mind that the first round after you've lost lives, the Mana Shield will not start restoring lives. Okay, that might be a little bit confusing, so let me give you guys an example. If for example, we lose our 25 of the mana shield on round 75, that means that nothing will regenerate on round 76, but then on round 77 the mana shield will get plus 5 lives. Also a very important thing to note is that mana shield doesn't work on impoppable mode, but the road spikes or the pre-game prep monkey knowledge does. Next up we have the bank deposits monkey knowledge from the support tree. Now this is the number one farming monkey knowledge you guys should have, although using it might not be for everyone because it requires some micro in the form of depositing and withdrawing cash and it might be a little bit complicated for some people to understand. The bank deposit monkey knowledge is what makes the banks more efficient than any other farming method except a 420 farm buffed by a 5th tier one and a 040 druid spam surrounded with farms. Now that says a lot about a tower that costs about 7k on hard mode. So to give you guys a quick idea on how this works, the bank creates interest on the money that it has inside of it. So if you deposit some of the cash that you already have, you will increase the amount of money inside the bank, making the interest a lot bigger. Now the most efficient way of farming is by depositing 4.75k in the bank. So you deposit only once and then collecting when the bank is at about 8.5k. Now, as I mentioned before, you can see why this can become a little bit of micro-intensive, especially if you're trying to run a couple of banks at a time. And if you're not the type of person interested in efficiency, then getting a banana farmer with some top-tier farms around him works fine too. There's a great wiki article explaining in detail how bank deposits work, so if you guys want to check it out, I'm going to link it down below. Next up, we have the weak point knowledge from the hero tree, which makes all heroes deal plus one damage to ceramic and fortified blooms. Now this is a very useful monkey knowledge point which the later you go obviously you know the more use it has because as you progress further into the rounds you will start encountering more and more ceramics and fortified blooms and some heroes benefit from this knowledge more than others. So this knowledge affects all of the projectiles that come out of a hero so for example at level 6 Quincy will shoot two arrows at a time. If you have this monkey knowledge enabled that means that both of the arrows will have plus one damage. Another example is Captain Churchill who gets his machine gun at level 5, so this knowledge will affect both his main attack and the machine gun attack as well. Also this monkey knowledge is one of the most important ones when doing my deflation round 100 strategy which requires no micro, no RNG, there are no close rounds throughout the run, but you need to have some monkey knowledge points for everything to run smoothly and this one is one of those. So if you guys want to check that one out, I'm gonna link it down in the description. And the last one is the pre-game prep monkey knowledge from the Powers 3, which allows us to start each game with a pile of road spikes at the end of the track. 
The road spikes can tank 20 lives, providing extra security if you're worried you're gonna leak, or you can even leak on purpose if you're saving up for a tower. It's nearly as effective as the mana shield, which is 25 lives, but they don't get refreshed over time like the mana shield does, making it a little bit worse. But still, I feel like this one has to be mentioned because of two things. The first one is that you only need 4 knowledge points and only 250 monkey money to unlock it so it's a very cheap point that you can benefit from in every single game mode without spending too much knowledge points or monkey money like for example the mana shield uh, which requires at least 8 monkey knowledge points and 1000 monkey money to unlock and that's not even counting the ones before it. The second reason why you should get this one is because it's active on impoppable mode. So if you guys don't already know, the mana shield is not available on impoppable mode because they wanted to make it a bit harder and closer to chimps mode in terms of difficulty, but the road spikes are. So this means that you will still have one life to play with, but there will be an extra 20 lives from the road spikes to help you out in the early game. And as a bonus on maps that have multiple exits, there will be a road spike pile created on each exit, like for example here on ouch. So that's it for this video, hope you guys enjoyed it, thumbs up if you did, and let me know what you think about it down below. Again, this is part 2 of the series, part 1 will be linked in the description, so check it out if you haven't seen that one, and tell me what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.